Hi, this is Highbridge Motor Homes Devon Branch, and on this uh, now glorious uh, King's Coronation Day on the something of May uh, 2023, we're doing a video on some of our freshly arrived stock. We've had some really nice stock just come in while it's a bit quiet when everybody's having barbecues, and uh, this one is about as good a bit of stock as we could wish for. It's an absolutely cracking 2021 21 plate Chausson V6933 line. So this is a van that we sold new. Uh, it's in immaculate condition. It's just come in, changed for a caravan. And it's only done 3,200 miles. It's a cracker. So it's a Chausson V697 2021, only done 3K. Now this is a really clever layout, so it's four seat belts, two berth. Yeah, you read that right, four seat belts, two berth. And we'll see a bit more of the layout inside and why it's a unique sort of uh, itch scratcher, as I would call it, of a layout. So it's three and a half tonne, drive it on your car licence, based on the ubiquitous feature Cato. This is the X7. Uh, 2.3 turbo diesel, three and a bit thousand miles, 6.34 long, so that's the extra long wheelbase, but that is the same wheelbase as the long wheelbase. 2.05 body width, 2.2 widest point with the mirrors folded, 2.8 ish high, priced at 56.995. You'd pay 72 for one of these if you could get one. You can't get one because there's no availability. So this is better than new for much less money and it's an absolute belter. So Chausson, they are France's largest motorhome manufacturer. Now this is where it gets complicated. Chausson are the major French manufacturer. They are owned by the massive French Trigano group and Trigano own amongst others Roller Team, Benamar, um, Chausson, Adria, Autotrail, Autosleeper. Now when they wanted to relaunch their van conversion range uh, what they did was um, they got Autotrail uh, in Britain to open a great big new factory and uh, they used the capacity in that to build van conversions both for the Autotrail Tributes and for Chausson and for Roller Team and for Benamar. So you can buy this van, slightly different styling, different badge, different upholstery, slightly different specs but ostensibly the same van with any of those four badges. Um, and this one's a Chausson, so while it is a Chausson it's never been to France. Uh, so we sold it new, 33 line was like an addition they did and that gave you a load of stuff. So this particular one's got the optional panoramic front skylight which is beautiful. You've got the Expedition grey paint, you've got the special edition graphics. Uh, they came with the pack with the bike rack, a uh, wind out awning. This one's had a TV aerial fitted and it's got the smart alloy wheels as well. Because it's an X7 Ducato, you've got the LED daytime running lights that disappeared uh, with the X8 that came out in 22. 140 horsepower engine, the standard was 120, so this is the 140. You'll even see the odd 115 out there, but this is the 140. Six speed manual, so plenty of power. Um, got the black style pack on the front there. Electrical adjustable heated mirrors. We'll have a look at the inside when we get to the inside, but you can open up the side door, bring the outside in. You've got a nice outside awning light. Outside awning light is up there. and <laughs> Outside down light is down here. Fly screen door. Double glazed windows all the way around. Coming around to the back, it's got the bike rack, which was part of that factory pack. Two bike black, two lay bike rack. Looks really, really smart. And you've got high level factory fitted reversing camera as well. Now opening up rear, we'll have a quick talk about the layout. Forgetting the fact that I just lent the scatter cushions on the doors to make it look pretty. So they're now both going to fall off. Now this van just came in yesterday, I think. Uh, it's absolutely mint. It's a real credit to its previous owners. So inside, we've got a really nice light wood finish. All concertina blinds and fly screens all the way around. Got this nice sort of faux leatherette soft finish to the ceilings and the walls. Really, really smart. Modern grey two-tone upholstery with Alcantara suede edgings, cloth middle bits, very very cool. Previous owners have put this carpet down, they don't come with carpets these but they put this down over the original wood finished floor. And there's storage right the way along there. Less storage on this side because it's got some electrical gumptions and boilers and things underneath of it. Now layout wise what this did was a long time people have been asking for a van conversion with a rear lounge with six foot sofas. So every other van, because this and seat belts, 
So you can have six foot sofas at the back in a van conversion, toilet and shower kitchen, but you can't have seat belts as well until this came along. Uh, or you could have four foot sofas at the back, vans like the Auto Sleeper Fairford, the Compass and Eldest CV40, um, the Swift Select 144 and 184 gave you a small end lounge which makes a transverse double bed and your seat belts. Um, and the reason why they can't do a six foot rear lounge and a seat belted lounge before is because everybody tried to make the seat belted lounge big enough to sleep in. So what you ended up with was a compromise. So if you wanted an end lounge van conversion with seat belts, you ended up with a small end lounge that only made a transverse double beds, which you soon get sick of because you've got to jump over your partner and your front dinette would make a small single bed that wasn't really very comfortable or good to sleep on. And your traveling seats at the front were designed to make a bed so they weren't very comfortable to travel on so you ended up compromising your van in three different ways so the clever people uh, whoever designed these Chauson, Auto Troll, whoever it was um, worked out if you make this front dinette small so it's not designed to have a table as such it does have a table that drops there and it's not designed to make a bed you can actually fit in six foot sofas to the rear which you can use as longitudinal single beds or a super king size double simply by sliding them together uh, and then at the front you can have proper dedicated traveling seats which are actually comfortable to travel in um, and when they, these came out i thought that's a weird idea um, but they sell like hotcakes and i can understand why when i see one so uh so even we as experienced motorhome people get it wrong on what will sell and they really scratch and itch these there's nothing else like them um so they're really really popular so yeah nice big end lounge let's close this up again we're going it from the inside coming around the driver's side so in it's expedition gray really popular it's a flat non-metallic light gray paint really smart so you've got your tv aerial on the roof uh, it's got the awning, the bike rack, the panoramic front skylight, and it's also got on the roof not one but two solar panels. Um, now, one of the solar panels does slightly obstruct the rear skylight opening all the way. You can open it a bit, but not all the way. So if you wanted one removing, then you can, we can do. Or you can keep it with two really big solar panels up there. You've got underslung fresh and waste water tanks with the drain points are here and here. Waste water, fresh water. Thick, thick set toilet locker. So you've got main hookup, leisure battery, and two solar panels on this one. And your gas is provided by an underslung gas tank, uh, which you fill up with LPG very, very cheaply, both in the UK and all across the continent, which of course you can't do with colour gas bottles, so that both saves space. It's cheaper, it's bigger capacity than a gas locker. Cab spec wise, it's got everything you'd expect it to have. So we've got concertina blinds on the front windows, electric mirrors, electric windows, central lock in, gauge for your underslung gas tank. Steering wheel controls, but the stereo is a um, is the Shoson part of one of the packs, the Accent um, DAB Bluetooth stereo system with a really good built-in reversing camera. So I'm not sure these steering wheel controls will control that. They might do, I'm not sure, but that's got nav built into it as well. If you have the SD card, so we don't know if this has got the SD card, if you can add it, if not. Air conditioning, cruise control, and a speed limiter. So cab spec is excellent, and I say it's three and a bit. Just do a mileage check. 3,204 miles only. That's really, really good. So, not a mark on it outside. As far as I've seen, it's immaculate. Coming to the inside, so we've got a handy main socket and an extra kitchen worktop flap. Twin swivel cab seats with a pulled table leg there. You've got hill descent and traction plus in the cab. We've got this lovely panoramic skylight it's not an opening skylight but you don't need that to open because you've got all these opening side windows unlike auto sleepers which don't there's storage underneath of these which i can never get into one-handed then your kitchen these didn't used to come with an oven but they did in 21 so you've got an oven grill combi that's really good news two burner gas hob and a sink on top as you'd expect another plug there high level storage cupboard Simple control panels, you come in nice and easy, shows you turning your lights on and off, um, your awning light on and off, and your capacity for your batteries, dead easy, and your water tanks. Heating is taken care of from Wales in Northern Ireland, so you've got gas or mains electric powered heating and hot water off of there, that's blown air, cozy, these are grade 3 fully winterised. 
bathrooms always a wet room in van conversions it's perfectly sufficient it's probably a little bit bigger than some i would say a little bit deeper so you've got flip down sink people don't like flip down sinks i do it doesn't take up any space does it when you're not using it and then yeah storage above for your shower gel and things tap it up there and your ubiquitous set for cassette toilet down there blown air heat event and some storing shelves in there and a shower curtain if you are showering in the van three-way fridge freezer don't see many of these left i like three-way ones because if you've got a gas tank you may as well use the gas instead of running your batteries down when you're not on the mains so that will run off gas from your tank when you're not on the mains mains when you are on the mains and your engine when you're driving you got a so little, a good size wardrobe actually, decent size wardrobe in there. Someone's put some racking in there and your, your tables for front and back. There's two tables, mm, certainly a table, I don't know if you get two, maybe just the one. Ah, just, just the one maybe, because I wonder if there's another one in here. Yes, yeah, so you've got a bigger table there for the back, smaller table for the front. Then that lovely in lounge which we saw from the outside. Really nice curved two-tone cabinet work. Nice up lighters, spotlights down below, opening windows all the way around. Just remember not to open this one when your uh, door's open. And the uh, previous owner's added, I think that mirror's been added, I'm not sure. TV bracket there for a telly box. You've got the aerial on the roof and they've added some extra sockets up here as well. So you've got handy double USB and a normal 12 volt one plus some extra bits there. You've also got extra USBs and two main sockets down there as well. So underneath of here, let's have a look. Underneath of here, oh, so it does have carpets. Uh, now underneath of here, it's your charger system. I just want to check how many batteries there are. So this inverter here, um, we can't sell a van with inverters in. They don't pass National Caravan Council regulations. So that will be taken out when we sell the van. Uh, we can give it to you and what you want to do to it or with it is up to you, but we can't sell it with that. What I want to do is to see how many leisure batteries there is. So I suspect there might be more than one. So yeah, there's one, two, I think two leisure batteries. Yeah, two leisure batteries down there along with some storage space. I should do is check these things before I start filming. Ready? Oh, there we go. So yes, yeah, so it's a proper well set up thing. So you've got the gas tank, the awning, the leisure batteries times two, the solar panels times two, uh, the bike rack, the sat nav, the reversing camera, the big screen accent stereo system. And it's only done 3,000 miles and it's an absolutely beautiful thing. Give us a call on the landline at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon 01626 832792. If we're out here with customers, leave a message or call us on the mobile direct to myself or one of my sales team 07432662558. Uh, inquire at highbridgecaravans.co.uk. Come and see us. Come off of that road over there. You can just see the cars whizzing past. That's the A38 South Devon Expressway between Exeter and Newton Abbott. We're incredibly easy to get to. We're right on the dual carriageway. Be quick because these full-size van conversions, not a sales line, they just sell rapidly. And ask us about this absolutely stunning 2021 Shoson V69733 line. Thank you very much. Goodbye.